up, and I think you'd be the perfect fit. What the hell is this? What is going on here? So in the nighttime, have we actually been plotting to escape with somebody? I thought those were dreams. Hey, don't just lie there. Just five more minutes. You're the star of the show. You can't just sleep through it. Watch me. What the fuck? They're starting us over. Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell? So our ratings weren't good enough. I get the feeling that we're, we're this is like this keeps repeating itself. This is why we never have a memory. I think they just keep putting us through this over and over again. Let's see let's see if she says anything else. Wait, we'll go a little bit. But I'm not running through that whole thing again. Bullshit. Oh, wait, wait. How on earth did I get into this mess? TTV Gur Grumble. I'm somehow stuck on an island in the middle of nowhere in the same dating show from hell. But from what Kat said, I'm dead meat if I don't finish this show with the fiance or the ratings aren't high enough. None of the girls on the show know the truth. They found out. Why couldn't I wake up like a regular? At least the girls seem nice. Allie's quite something. And that's not just from losing a race to her in the field. Scarlet's interesting. Oh, they jumped us ahead a little bit. Tara marches to the beat of her own drum. Violet's cool but intimidating. Then there's Yui. She said she knew me. What the th The show must go on. And that's why Ger Grumble is the perfect soulmate for each of you. I'm sorry, you just drew a bunch of numbers. Okay. So now we have to pick again. What the hell? So they let us skip like all the preliminaries now and they pop us right back in. Holy cow. I wonder if there's only one solution in which we live. Should we pick totally different girls? I'm going to pick different girls. Okay, I'm going to pick Violet. And I'm going to get to... I'm, and I'm, oh, you'll get to know three of the girls over the next nine days. Over three dates with each of them. Dude. No, no. Three girls over three days. Or over nine days. Yeah, this... The, oh, they put... This is like a chapter two, dude. No, this isn't chapter two. This is like book two. What the holy hell no i don't feel like i gotta pick all three of the others i think i could keep one of the originals no 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 i feel like i need to keep yui like what if we kept one girl through all the way out all the way throughout man this is going way longer than i thought okay let's see let's find them violet tara and scarlet no i don't think we're going scarlet scarlet they said scarlet wasn't doing it for us on the 10th day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you. I've got 10 days now. Yeah, I got screwed with Scarlet, man. No, no, no. Scarlet's not going to do it. Who do you want to spend time with? I have to choose already. I haven't even had time to talk. Don't think of it. Okay. Today's alone time. Oh, wait. I forgot to tell you something pretty important. She pulled me aside. But really, I only want you to be asking three of them. Basically, everybody but you and Scarlet. Oh, I have to date the other three. Why is that? Let's just say we think we'll be getting higher ratings that way. And you know how important it is to get high ratings, right? I don't really have a choice, do I? Nope, glad we're on the same page. So I think they would have screwed us no matter what. So without further ado... Okay, so yeah, we, we have to pick the... Uh, well, you were telling me to pick the other three, but no, they're saying I have to pick the other three. <clears throat> All right, so who do you want to go on your first date with? Um, who would be the... I want to go with Violet first. Let's go with her. I mean, she's gorgeous platinum blonde. Let's go for it. We got her. All right. Now we've got... So basically, we end up dating all of them no matter what. Jesus, we got nine more days, dude. Oh, son of a bitch. This is going to drag. 
when a white I had just gone outside the mansion to find Violet, a white limousine. One stepped out, walked towards me. Good day, please do enter. Please just get in the car. You already heard what she did to my bro. He opened the passenger door. Oh. What's the worst that could happen on a death game dating show? He drove me to look like a fancy restaurant. Ooh. Bonjour, suitor. I trust my new butler brought you here safely. I gotta say, I love the stockings, man. Ooh. That gym slip looks doing it for me. Yeah, he did. What's going on, Violet? And I thought I would give you a chance to have some alone time with the star of the show is all. I'm t You know what would be funny? If it turns out she actually... She's supposed to have more money than Damien. What if this is all her orchestrating this to get me? This is all like a giant maneuver to prove that like she has to have me. If I turn out to be right in that assessment, I'm going to freak out. Have you never been on a date before? Of, of course I have. And I've read all the manuals on the subject. Ooh, she's a babe in the woods. Oh my God. I've studied every book of the lusty new Asian maid series and I know them all by heart. Oh my God. She is wanting to prove something. Impressed, I'm sure. No, I'm going to say I'm impressed. Yeah. Let's go ahead and make... Now, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make all three of them fall madly in love with us. We're going to alpha chad the hell out of this. Hell yes. We're not, we're not going to turn any of them down. No matter what lunatic shit they say, no matter what stupid things they do, we're still going to be like totally rocking. Yeah. Like even if they fart, we'll be like, don't worry. It's just you being you. Yeah. Watch. I'm going to alpha chad this. I, I'm really hoping at the very end of it that, that it's going to be like a giant cat fight for me. Please be seated. Honored guests. We sat in the table and each dish on the tail one by one. He seemed to linger over the meatballs as he brought them over. Oh my god. Did she actually cook up his brother? Thank you, one. Remember, she, she was talking about making meatballs out of the guy's meat. This food looks incredible and probably worth more than my life. You're right on both counts, Grumble. No, she's psycho. I'm ecstatic you like the assortment. I planned it myself. You're a chef? You could say that. Dude, she's Hannibal fucking Lecter is what she is. What do you mean? Anyway, tell me more about yourself, Ger Grumble. No, why don't you tell me what the mystery meat is, darling? I want to know what the mystery meat is before I dig in. Because no amount of wasabi is going to cover up that. There's not too much to say. Amnesia is a hell of a drug. You do not remember your past? Oh, God. I, You know, I'm going to play this through. I don't feel like I have the energy. Okay. All right. Okay, so she's going to help me with all her money. Uh, have you ever thought for chance is actually a blessing in disguise? Ooh, many of us be happier not knowing what drags us down. That may be true, but still I need to know. Oh, consider me impressed. Those manuals are just regular old fiction novels, right? Ha! An admirable trait to have. You're funny, your grumble. You haven't told me about yourself, Violet. Who are you? What do you do for fun besides cooking up people? Being the scion of the Valentines doesn't leave much time for my fun. Even on this show, I spend most of my waking hours managing the Valentine's restaurant business. But I suppose if I have a spell of time, I enjoy baking. <laughs> yeah, because she, she bakes with flesh. A servant hobby, according to my parents. Yeah, because they actually like make the servants into the baking. Oh, so they don't want her doing domestic stuff. Who cares what your parents think? Ooh, how about we find some de time together to bake up for lost time? Fa fa fa. She laughed like a child. T. That would be wonderful, girl Grumble. I know this is awful. <clears throat> I'll make some time on my calendar for you. What a bitch. I'll make time on my calendar. We spend the next few hours in. Hey, I didn't write it, McDonald. This fuck this freaking game write it. We spend the next few finest meal that money could buy. Each course was better. Just like each chapter of the lusty new Asian maid, according to Violet. Something tells me the same applies to every moment I'll share together with Violet. Ooh. Yeah, I can't wait to do the lusty, busty, Asian, whatever with Violet. 
All right. Who'd be coming at this hour? It's Cat. Don't mind me. I'm going to make my... Oh, my God. It's the same thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. That's nice of you. Thanks, Cat. Okay. Okay, so she they don't want to see finding a new person to re, to replace you is a pain in the ass. So yeah, they just like if we fail, they make us go back through again. How is it we can't get Yui or Scarlet? They basically screwed us and that we couldn't get the two best options, so now we're probably going to get stuck with one of the remaining 3. You and Violet started out a little frosty by the end. I think we saw you two warm each other. Yeah. We need something more than that if we're going to make the world believe she's your first soulmate candidate. So let's heat things up with more competition, pizzazz, romance. Tomorrow, I want you to find who your second soulmate candidate is. Okay. Let's see if we want to go on a second date with Violet. Okay, that would be... Yeah. A lot of these are the same choices. Okay. This is the same thing. Wow. This is weird. It wasn't your first time on a life or death killing dating show. Well, that's pretty much what I needed to tell you. It's getting late and we both got big days tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to have to pick somebody else. Nine days, guys. Nine fucking days. Oh, my God. Dude, if they do all this dream sequence shit, I'm going to be so pissed. The sound of waves. Hey, I can hear you. It's you. This is okay. This is all the same shit. Okay, we're going. Okay, I held her tight and kissed her. Promises are unbreakable. That's what you told me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, boom. Sorry, we had to shoot through that. Then you set the meat at 4,300 degrees. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh my god. I'm teaching her to. Oh, to make a pot roast. Nice. I like that Violet can cook. She's preparing lunch. Oh my god, she's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> she turns, she cranks up the, the flames all the way. No, she's going to burn everything. Lunch is served. <clears throat> Tara was nervous, clasping her hands tight. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Everyone just, uh. It's delicious. I did it. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. A food vlogger. I'm a cooking savant. Oh my God. Tara is so un insufferable. Oh, what is it, Gergrumble? Is this what you cooked or is this what Tara cooked? Oh, she winked at me. It was Violet. She sipped on her soup contentedly. Okay. Wow. All right, so now we got to pick one of the two remaining gals. We cannot pick Scarlet. We cannot pick uh, Yui. <clears throat> there you are, Gergrumble. Okay, I've been looking for you. Who's my second soulmate candidate? Not like you really have a choice, though. Yeah, of course. Son of a bitch. All right, I guess we'll go with Tara. Although she's probably going to be insufferable about thinking she cooked this really kick-ass meal. Yeah. Yeah. As I walk closer and closer to the games room, I can hear people screaming bloody murder. Take him. I'm too young to die. I rushed in as fast as I could. Oh my god. What's happening? What kind of brother would sacrifice his own flesh and blood to survive? Oh my god. What the hell is this? Okay, she's gaming them to death. It's the heroes that die first, you know. Oh my god. I'm gonna I'm gonna call Terra my little Pokemane. Where was I? Oh, right. One down, two to go. Get over here. They were playing a fighting video game. Oh my god, she's playing like Super Smash. Give me a second, I've got to do a bit of pest control. Oh, she's a trash talker too. Oh my god. Kill it first! Oh my god. 
Oh my god, she's she's not just a gamer, she's a trash talking gamer. <laughs> she's mean. Oh god. Oh dude, look at that. What is that like a pretzel? Oh, what the hell? As promised, you guys know what you have to do. The Brothers Five groaned as they put on some kind of futuristic helmet. I'm going to say, you're incredible. Remember, we're going to go balls to the wall here. We're going to, like, romance the hell out of all of them. You decimated those guys without bra breaking a sweat. I do make a living doing this, believe it or not. But lately, it's been a little boring. Why is that? Same old, same old. I do have something new in store if you're down. Hell yeah, I'm down. All right, so what's she going to want to do now? Are we going to are we gonna start the, um, uh, what is it, the, the hot tub stream? I'm going to need to put on you this non-suspicious at all headset. And she picked up a helmet from behind the couch and placed it on my head. Oh my God, she's going to do uh, VR. This won't hurt a bit. It was like lightning ran through my head. Dude, we're in VR. I'm in some kind of forest, yeah. I want to go home. Oh, stop whining. Yeah, look at her. She's insane. Yep. At least a million years by uh, by now. No, this is... It, okay, we're in a VR server. Okay, so she officially put us on a holodeck. If you want to prove... Oh, try walking outside the forest. Oh, okay. We just hit the wall. Okay. Wow. I don't know. They're gamers. They're gamer phones, man. Would be a deep dive. Yeah. Oh, everything we do is replicated in the real world. Yeah. So basically it's just really good, really good visuals, but we can't do anything. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. It'll fry our brain. Oh my God. They're trying to kill us. So we're going to go insane. Okay. We don't know how. Looked around frantically. There wasn't a way for us to log out. <clears throat> oh my god. Dude. Sh this chick, she's crazy. But it'd be such a shame to leave so soon. Let's play a game first. Oh my god, she's mental. I can change all of your avatars at will. And she's like giggling. She's cackling to herself while she murders us. Hold on a second. Oh, man. I had to reshift something. All right, here we go. Okay, she just slapped them all out. My hands are tiny little white wings. Mm. I have a beak. She turned me into a bird. And they're pigeons. Oh, my God. The pigeons, five. <laughs> like chickens. Oh, my God. I can't blame them. Tara seemed like a giant compared to us now. Dude, she's crazy. Why have turned you all into birds? Was she going to cook us? Oh my god. Mm -mm. She cackled again like a wicked witch. Welcome to Pigeon Dating Sim Battle Royale. Oh my god, she's going to make us beat the shit out of each other. You'll have to seduce me if you want to get out of here. What the fuck? With each day it passes, I fear more for humanity's future. No shit. <clears throat> and we have to be pigeons. The ratio of human to pigeon visual novels is totally out of whack. I figure we should balance that out. I'm trapped in a killer virtual reality game. I'm also trapped on a killer dating show. To make matters worse, I'm also trapped in the body of a pigeon. Now I need to seduce a woman with my avian charm. Oh my god. Seduce me! Oh my god, she's mental. One by one, the pigeons fired pickup line after pickup line at Tara, but to no avail. Come on, move those wings like you mean it. Oh my god. I can't imagine being a pigeon. Let's try one more. How about 
damn girl, you're a hoot. Damn girl, you're looking so fly. Damn girl, you're more addicting than quack. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. Should we say you're more addicting than quack? I'm gonna do her more addicting than quack. Yeah, let's go over that. With my will to live in an all-time low. The game went dark. A moment later, we were back in the games room. Huh? We're back. Thank God. I got fingers. I can write. I can fill out a balance sheet. They want to be one of the accountants. Just when it was getting good. Wait, is something burning? The game console smoking. Guess it's toast. Oh my God. Yeah, this was dragon bad. Dude, we still got like eight days left, dude. This is depressing. You okay, Tara? I'm going to take a nap. Oh my God. She's such a selfish bitch. She just totally like trapped us in a in a console that would make us insane. And then and then basically us to force forced us to VR role play. And then when we almost got killed, she just says, fuck it, I'm taking a nap. Dude, I know that was like the worst state out of all of it. This was shit. Violet or Tara see me come in here, fan some flames. Sorry, what? Cat looked around, smiled, went into my room. I followed suit. Yeah. We've gotten enough ratings to avoid early canning. People loved it when you and Violet were the main ship, but they loved it after Terra kicked off this competition. So it's basically like the viewers, all the all the people watching this so-called stream are like, oh my God, they're lunatics too. Violet and Terra, between those two, do you have a favorite? Fucking Violet, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I had a feeling you'd say that, and you're right to say that. Let's see. Something tells me you get a chance to hang out with her again soon. Hmm. Well, the nice thing is we've we've already had like sex with two of the other hot girls. Unfortunately, since they erased our memory again, we don't remember it, which kind of sucks. Oh my god! A lot of the text is reused, though. Keep it up, and you'll be like the first one to get out of here. Jesus! So they just made us have to do a longer stretch. Well, I guess we didn't have seven days. Now we have something like 16 days altogether. <clears throat> and there aren't any more. Oh, my God. The most precious moments are the most mundane. The two of us spending the evening together in the games room. I'm reading a book, watching her rage against an opponent in a fighting game. Okay. Life is good. It's times like these where you wish. Okay, so I'm dreaming of Terra. Fuck you. <laughs> That's her bitching at people on the on the dude, she must be playing Rocket League. That's gotta be Rocket League that's making her do that. I love this woman so much. What the hell kind of dream was that? Where I'm dreaming like I'm totally over the moon for her? She was a complete bitch to us. We kicked off our morning with a delicious meal made by Violet. So tell us more about your dream, Tara. I don't really remember much, but I was in a video game and I was getting hit on by a lot of pigeons. Oh my god. Uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? What if it was a sign? I'm sorry, what? It was a dream. Allie had a devilish grin on her face. I think it is a sign, Tara. It's a sign that you should try making video games. The world needs more pigeon dating sims. Oh my god. You know, honestly, if there was a pigeon dating sim, I would play that right now. There's no time to waste. Okay, so she ran up to go make a pigeon dating sim. Are you certain it's good that a spur on? Of course. Seriously, what's the worst that could happen? Oh my god. Now I have to pick Allie. And then I still have two more dates to go on with all three of them. Okay. Morning, your grumble. Who's your last one? Oh man, I'm gonna make a killing from today's bet with four. The poor guy doesn't know you've been rigging the show. What he doesn't know can't hurt him. Oh my god. After you made your choice. Somebody would ask, let me explain. If you don't get chosen, we'll make the rest of the show a tropical getaway for you. Okay, you'll still be able to see the other girls of the mansion. Tara did a little fist bump. Without further ado, Gur Grumble, who's the last unlucky girl? All right. I don't have a choice. I have to pick Allie. Fuck beans. All right, let's go. Oh, wow. I was able to just skip that. I just hit space bar. Until now, I've just been, like, left-clicking. But I kind of wanted to skip the dialogue.
What the hell? Oh, no, I just I just took the text dialogue away. Okay. There's only way with one find out, is there? She grabbed my hand, poured me towards the slope of the hill. What's the worst that could happen? What are we going to do, run down the hill into the ocean? Well, I could die. Would be too much to ask to be on a TV show that didn't end up with me dead? I've got you. Yeah, she's strong like a horse. Uh-oh. She slipped on her rollerblades. Oh, God. Well, I, I, I think I skipped a small part when I hit space, but yeah. Oh, my God. This is so obnoxious. Okay, I couldn't figure out how to stop. We're going faster. La, la. She laughed and pointed. Your face is priceless. I love it. She's a cold... This a, dude. Oh, my God. We're going to have to pick one of these people. The only one that looks halfway decent is Violet. Violet. No, no, they all look good, but I mean, like, her candidate that looks good. Okay. Hmm. Now you got the hang of it. Oh my god, she's insane. The best way to teach a bird to fly is throwing it off a cliff, no? Yeah, I told you, she's a lunatic. I killed my dad, ha ha ha. No. That is not humor. Imagine if you met somebody, and like the first time you met him, you were doing something with them, and they just casually mentioned, yeah, before dad ran off, oh, before I murdered him, uh -huh. Oh my god. Nope. She just learned how to today. No, she's absolutely not. You do not just throw a bird off a cliff, off a fucking cliff. All right, sh you're quite the daredevil, aren't you? What gave that away? She laughed as she slapped me on the back. This is the kind of girl that gets you killed. Doing stupid ass like extreme sports. You know like those people, you know how you hear the story about like people who like lean over on something to take a selfie and it turns out they like fall off a bridge or fall off a cliff or something? You know like every every year or two there comes up somebody who's like being remarkably stupid and they die. You know like Dar Darwin at work. This is what this gal is. She's the kind of gal that she won't get killed. She'll tell us to lean way over on the side of the cliff to get a fucking selfie or to take a picture of her. And the next thing you know, we drop 2,000 feet. Oh my god. I feel the same way, Gergrumbo. It's great to be around someone willing to go on an adventure. I, I don't want adventure. Oh my god. See, no. Basically, she's, she's what you call an adrenaline junkie. And adrenaline junkies? No. Again, you don't stick your dick in crazy people. Oh my god. Okay, this is just annoying. I'm Ger Grumble. I can't. Oh man, she's now she's mocking me too, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I felt the fire light inside me. No, that, that especially if they're crazy and super hot, because eventually they're gonna do something awful and ruin your life, or they're gonna like cook a bunny and cook your pet bunny in a pot. Bring it on, Allie. Are you sure? Okay, okay. Let you know some. I gotta. With the power of misplaced confidence and adrenaline, I jumped high into the air. Are we gonna are you gonna rotate 360? We're gonna do a back we're gonna do a back flip. Fuck it. Wait, am I doing a flip or is the world flipping? Okay. This is uh, this is annoying. I actually had the interesting girls or oh wait. Oh fu did we knock ourselves out? What the hell? No, I won't let you kill your grumble. What? We're like in a VR, dude. What just, what the hell? What the hell? You're okay, Ger Grumble? Try to move. You're a little banged up. Cat and I treated your injuries. Oh my god, so I knocked myself out by doing a backflip. You skated backwards. She carried me here. My god, she's butch. Take it easy, it's been only a few hours since you KO'd yourself. I made you some food. Oh god, it better not be awful. All I can promise the food is probably healthier than my last suggestion before you knock yourself out. I'll t oh. I wish I dated the annoying girls like Tara and Allie first. I feel like we could have gotten them out of the way. I think we picked the best girls, and now we can't pick them. We're going to get stuck with a dud. Oh my god, what did she do? She gave me a bunch of, like, curry or something? I mean, what is it? Oh god. So now I'm messing with her. 
ran her hand through my hair and scratched it. And what the hell kind of relationship is this? Oh my god. I'm gonna be a dick here. Okay, watch. People can't help doing pretty pretty girl. Okay. We spent the rest of the day making fun of each other for how stupid we're being. Yeah, I know. I'm like her damn pet. If she asks me something nice and I could say something really sexy or something kind of like meh, I'm going to go the meh route. I, I I want to be let her know that I'm not that interested. I'm going to be a bitch. I was laughing so hard I could barely feel any pain. See, they're forcing me to be. I wouldn't be laughing this hard, you bitch. After today's eight, I went out for a short walk. Oh, here we go. She's going to ask me how it went. I got to get back to editing. You know I want to hear. I know Violet was your favorite till now. Maybe Ali has shaked things up a bit. Who's number one now? Violet. She's still my number one. I've been counting the days so I can see her again. And I know it's going to be worth the wait. Oh, my God. I think we lost out on Yui and the and, and Scarlet. I'm going to be so pissed. I couldn't write that much cheese if I tried. I got some good news for you then. My plan was a success. Three, can three candidates has worked magic for our ratings, which of course means the show will go on. That's awesome. So I'm safe now, just for now. Oh my God. Phase two over the next three days, we're going on a second date with all three of them. Oh my God. Think about how different this was compared to the other dates. Oh my God. Just imagine that sweet ad revenue rolling in. Mm, yeah. If it's anything like Twitch ads, it's only going to be pennies on the dollar. Ooh, slam Twitch. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. Sound good to you? Sounds like a plan to me. Although, to be fair, I've minimized my ads so much. So it actually, you know, it went from like a dollar to 50 cents. So, yeah. Tomorrow morning, I'll be asking you who you want to have your first second date with. All right. Why are you watching someone on YouTube right now? Sometimes the order of content is just as important as the content itself for ratings. Ooh, she's giving me a big hint. She's giving me a mega big brain hint here. Like I have to... Um, like I have to make a very careful choice about the order of the content. Ah. And he said what? Yeah, you, you don't have to turn off ad blocker. Actually, the YouTubers, yeah, if you if you have ad block, a lot of times I, th I think YouTube can read that and they don't get credit for it. Like it has to be people actually sitting through the ads. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so the order of content, we have to be very careful who we select now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so who should we pick like... We've got to keep the ratings kind of high and the rate. Well, no, but I mean, keep in mind, she said order is very important for the content, right? So do we go with the one we want least or the one we want most? What seemed to get the most ratings? Like it seemed almost like the, the whole thing with Ali got the most ratings. Yeah. Tara, then Ali. Well, yeah. Violetta, maybe Violetta first. Oh my God. Look at this again. This is nothing. This is time stop doing what I want. I'm pretty sure you want, don't need to be all the way out here for just a kiss. Ooh, I guess you're right. After all, it's hotter if people are watching. We laughed together as we cruised along till the sun went down. The world was ours. Waves. Will I know you before I'm taken under? Oh my God. What is with this weird dream sequence shit? That does not make any sense to me. Like I'm trying to escape or some shit. Like what the hell? Okay. No worries. I'm good. Thanks, Yui. I'm so relieved. Should you not be resting after yesterday? Oh, see, look at this. They're just rubbing it in that we can't. Look at this. We can't. They're just rubbing it in. We can't have Yui or Scarlet. Bastards. Wait, what? I've been rollerblading longer than most people have ever. Technically, that's probably true. Okay, this is all just shit. Oh, my God. Oh. Why do they all look like they're sweating? Like, th three of them look like they're sweating hard. And two of them look all like normal. Why is why is Violet sweating? I get a feeling they're forcing me to go Tara, Tara and Allie. 
which really bothers the hell out of me. Yeah. Okay, so Allie and Tara just ran off to go, Hey, Tara, how was skating? There's no words. Oh my god, she's sunk. Basically, the way she goes down, that's like, she's sunk. I think Allie broke Tara. He waved her hands frantically. Okay. Oh my god, this is going to take forever to finish. I guess nobody's home. Is there a medic on the island? Tara was fine. Okay, we spent the rest of the morning playing video games as therapy for Tara. Oh my god. Oh wow. Something dark is going on here. This is this is getting really dark. Congrats, you've made it to the fourth day. Oh, we have we only have five days to go. Oh, three soulmate candidates. Granted, soulmate candidates don't really exist, but hey, we'll edit that part out. You should really be proud of yourself. I can't tell you're being serious or not. Yeah, no shit. I'll leave that to you, I guess. Yeah, what's up, McDonald? Anyway, between your three uh, lucky romantic interests, who do you want to spend today with? I feel like Violet should be first, and then Tara, and then Allie. Because we have more, adv quote, adventures, unquote, with Allie, and that seems to be like, no, no, we're not doing that. No, we're not doing knock, knock. No, not Tara first. No, Violet should not be last. I think no. It, okay, then Allie. Yes, yeah, what I'm saying. No, one of them. We should say one of those first. No, Violet should be probably first. Uh-uh. I'm going Violet first. Too late. I picked Violet. So it shall be written. So it shall be danced. Nice. I kind of had a feeling you would. I think Violet's somewhere around the mansion. Yeah, no, we need to have the excitement at the end, dude. Otherwise, they're going to do that. We're canceling you shit again. Anyways, we have we actually have two more dates with each of them. But she did say content. All right. There we go. We're starting out calm. Personal island. Oh, not quite that bourgeoisie. Oh, my God. She's a snob. She's OK. I've got a surprise for her. All right. Did I cook her something? Oh, we can bake. Oh, my God. This is going to be a nice chill stream. Oh, she wants to bake. This is going to be so adorable. Oh, we decided to make a chocolate cake. Choco cake. Choco cake. That said, I also don't remember a thing about how to make cakes. But with Violet, that wasn't a problem. She got me up. Oh, yeah, she got me up. All right. To speed, that is. Oh, look at that. She looked like a kid on Chris. Oh, look how... It, oh, my God. She's so adorable. Oh, my God. I just fell in love with Violet now. Look at that. The way she looks right there. Look at that. She's got the little icing bag, and she's putting the chocolate icing on. I know. Oh, she looks so much less severe because she's happy because she baked a cake. Isn't that lovely? I love it. Oh, man. I know. She, I, I knew she was gorgeous from the beginning. She just, like, was really snobby, and she's spoiled rich. But yeah, see, when you take it, like, all out of the mix, you know? I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a bathroom break real quick. This is a great shot to leave it on. We're going to leave it there. I'll be right back. Let's. We're going to get another drink, too. we got to get another drink. Oh, here we go. 
Okay, sorry about that, guys. We've been running for five hours now, and the game we've been doing, I think, for at least three. Like, wait, how? what time is it? Um, hold on. Let's see. We've been going over five hours, and the game has been since, like, five-something. So, like, yeah, we're three hours in. It says something like technically about four hours of content. So I, I think the game will actually get resolved after we do this nine days here, which we're in, what, day five now or something? So, or four? All right, she's decorating. Oh, I couldn't help but smile and watch her in adoration. Yeah, she looks... I mean, if I was looking across the table at a girl like this, decorating the cake, my God, my heart melts. Violet's lovely. But still, when she makes cracks like... Well, like when I ask her if she owned her own island, she's like, well, nothing that bourgeoisie. You know, I mean, it's like, come on. That kind of crack makes me just cringe. She's pure happiness right now. I wish I could take this moment, just freeze it in time. Well, we did just freeze it in time for a little bit while I went to pee. So that's good. I can't wait to share this with the others. Oh my God. But first, your grumble. Would you mind testing it? Yeah, I'll test it. All right. You don't have to ask. Believe me, I'll, I'm first in line to try it out. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm in first in line to try it out, McDonald. You got that right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. D that's McDonald. You don't have to say it. The implication is in the laughter. My God, McDonald. You're so raw. You're so crude. Pervert. Thank you. I'm just... Unsure if what I make is worth eating or not. Oh, she's the every girl in here has issues. Dude, my family's caretaker, Lucine, was the one who taught me to bake. Besides my sister, Lucine was the only one who ever bothered to try what I made. Sometimes I worry they told me it's delicious just to make me feel better. I took a little off the top of her cake with my finger and licked it off. It's delicious, Violet. You better believe it, baby. Would you want to help me a little bit longer? I'm having far too much fun to stop now. Oh, we're going to do fun things with icing. I just started making some cookies. Oh, she's going to give me her cookies. Hey. Yes, that's right, Violet. Give us your cookies. Mm. Oh, my God. She's actually going to ask us to make cookies. Dude, McDonald's, scale it back, dude. You're going to start getting out of control. All you need to do is make cookie shape. Okay. Oh, my God. Do not try to put any of them too close together. Okay, God. They're literally just... Yeah. I ripped a piece of dough. Oh, my God. This is literally just like making us... We're making cookies. This is boring as shit. All right. We made... She made perfect dough. She's been doing this since she was five. Okay. Oh, my God. Ah. Uh, oh, my God. Viola Valentine. Violet and Viola. Oh, they're twins. Oh, I'm out of my room on my tray. Oh, out of room on my... She flashed a devious smile for she lightly threw a dough ball at my face. Dude! Oh my god, we're having a food fight with stupid-ass music. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. A food fight. See, this is where we had to get the uh, the ratings, right? Oh my god, this is so cute. I mean, I know this is like so sugary; it's giving me diabetes. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god, I'm gonna go on the offensive. Let's smack her. Okay, she got us anyway. Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta let her win. Yeah. Of course, you have to let her win. I tell you what, I'm joining the men's suffrage movement. Yeah, the men's suffrage. That's what it is. I should be. I should be uh, able to win. Well, we just did. It's it's like I'm I'm kind of speeding it up, but yeah. Oh my god. Some say you can still hear my screams in that kitchen to this day. Bullshit. We finished cleaning up after our impromptu food fight. You know, we could have done many more things with food right there. That wouldn't have been a silly food fight. I'm a little bit a little bit disappointed. I was hoping, you know, they gave us a G, like like a Brady Bunch uh, day, when I was hoping for something a little bit more, shall we say, R-rated. Or at least PG-13. My God. 
pardon me, but I guess we can rule you out being a baseball player. Oh my God. Now she's, 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 she's like criticizing our sports abilities too. Oh my God. She just literally verbally castrated us. Mmm. Royal Crown Cola. Ice cold. Nice. Oh my God. She picked crumbs off my face and licked them off her finger. And then her eyes seemed to linger on mine. Ooh, it's getting it's getting dirty. We're getting down dirty. I do hope we can spend more time together soon. I quite like this. Okay, so this is going to be a gal that's going to have a food fetish. So the next date, we're going to be like squirting like Hershey's syrup. Um, you mean choose Ally now, not do Ally now. Yes, we need to pick the adventure thing. Yeah. Okay, you're full of surprises. Blah, blah, blah. Just wait and see. There's more where that came from. Okay, so we're going to get... What next? Is she going to hit us with a pot roast in the face? I mean, what the hell? We spend the way talking, eating little desserts. Well, she's not going to keep that size one figure very long. She keeps eating those damn desserts. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah, it's probably going to be the crock pot with the pot roast in it, damn it. Yeah, and mischievous as a child. Yeah, she's basically just spoiled. Yeah, she is gorgeous. A beautiful platinum blonde hair. Mwah. All right. I went downstairs to relax. Ah. Bottle of red wine. Oh my god, Cat is like she she's like a drunk. Okay, let's get some let's get some liquor. Sure, I'd love a glass. Oh man, it would be so great if we could seduce Cat. Yeah, what's life without a few risks? My answer was long. Cat filled her glass, downed it, and she laughed and lightly jabbed me. Okay. She started chugging the bottle. Oh my God, she's an alcoholic. Dude. No, seriously, no normal girl just like drinks the wine and then just like upends the bottle and chugs it down. I mean, remember, we're not talking water here. We're talking wine. Dude, she is a serious alcoholic. I work on a TV show that kills innocent people for shits and giggles. How okay do you think I could be? No wonder. I think I drink heavily too. <laughs> yeah. If you actually worked on a show where you executed people. Oh my God. Yeah. You're more of a buzzkill than Damien. I don't even know how that's possible. He's killed people with buzz saws. Oh my God. Dude, this is so dark. It's like all this lighthearted, ha ha, we had a food fight with cookie dough and now it's like murder ink. Oh, you know, the old career fair down the block. She laid down the sofa. Oh, my God. I have enough footage. It's, yeah, I'm worried about you, cat. And why is that? People who chug a whole bottle of wine in one night aren't usually in the best place. No, there's okay with having a bottle of wine in a night. I've done that many times. But chugging it at one go is the problem. Yeah, that's like drinking an entire six pack. That's just that's not okay. Dude, she binge drinks like hell. This is sad. Oh, my God. If you knew some of the things I'd done to survive, you wouldn't be trying to come for me. You know, like that time that I filled that sack full of puppies and dropped it in the river. I mean, she no, she has got a dark side, this chick. She sounds like she's done some evil shit. Oh, my God. I'd like to be alone. Oh, my God. The walking corpse is giving me advice on how to live now. Oh, my God. She is she is dark. Do I really look that bad right now? Yeah, you should say yes. Oh, look at her. She's so pretty. Look at this. She's got those violet eyes. Mm -mm. Lovely eyes. Wow. This is bad. If Kat's drunk, then who's making sure today's episode is good? Uh-oh. Who's doing the editing? The two of us were lying down in a grassy field. I don't get the dream sequence thing. Like, this is so fucking confusing. Where would you want to go when we're out of here? The countryside seems like it'd be the only place you'd get some peace and quiet. Would you come with me? I know it's not for everybody. You don't even have to ask, love. See, this feels... This feels like, um... Like we're talking to Yui. But the earlier it was like... The earlier dream... The earlier that we, um dream that we had was about um who uh the gamer gamer girl mom would have loved you i wish you had a chance to meet her this is yui that i'm dreaming about i think the hints are in this oh my god oh my god 
So it, this is Yui that we're talking to. I feel like there's hints in the thing, in, in the dream sequences. I walked down the kitchen where the girls were having breakfast. Oh my God, how was the date? Yeah, tell us. Tara was furiously scribbling down notes with the title War Plans in bold. It was really quite nice. We actually made this cake and cookies. And we got we got naked. Not really. Okay. War of Attrition is likely not an option. What are you writing there, Tara? Nothing. Okay, I think Tara is going to be next. Okay, so we made a big ass mess. Oh my god, they were like, are you sure it was just baking together? Oh my god, they're starting to poke into my sex life now. Wow, very catty. I charaded as if I was heartbroken. I didn't think you had, had it in you. Hubba hubba. Oh my god. So they're all just assuming that me and Violent did the down dirty. Wait, no, nothing like that happened. Allie and I laughed and made finger guns at each other. I don't get it. Oh my god, Yui's so innocent. That's because you're a good person, Yui. Oh my god, Ali was being such a bitch. I think what Ali's trying to say is that Violet and Ger grumble. Ali stuffed a cookie into Scarlet's mouth before she could finish her sentence. Holy cow, they really just started getting dark. Wow, these cookies are pretty useful. You gotta teach me how to make these sometime, Violet. It would be my pleasure, Ali. Yeah. Ali wants wants a Violet to teach her how we make cookies. Quote unquote. Yeah sexy why should Ger grumble have all the good stuff because i'm Ger fucking grumble that's why all right good manny's good morning cat i've been looking for you oh not so loud please oh so you had all that wine i still have to edit our broadcast the scene feels familiar you see they are acknowledging the fact that i've been through this before Something tells me that my chance of surviving goes down for every open bottle of alcohol on the island. Maybe I should spend today reenacting Prohibition instead of going on a date. You do know how Prohibition ended, right? Okay, back to breast text. Let's keep striking the iron while it's hot. Which soulmate will you be going on a date with today? I think I think we're going to stay with the same order. I feel like we should go with Tara and then Allie. Because Allie, I think, is going to be like all adventure and stuff. And a lot of people will like that. Yeah. No, I'm going Tara. Tara was the worst one. She turned us into a damn VR pigeon, and we had to give her cheesy lines. Like about quack. No, Tara, Tara was... Well, no, Allie's was the worst date, but Tara was terrible. I knocked on the door to the game's room. Hey, girl, Grumble, what's up? Chicken butt. I thought I'd see you and see how you're doing with your game. Let me show you what I'm working on. Oh, my God, she's going to plug us back into the friggin'. Oh, my God. It's a farming game. Oh, uh, the pigeon dating game has already exists. You live in a village out in the country, make friends, raise crops, and decimate all the invaders with your giant mecha pigeon death machine. Oh my god, that's actually pretty good. I dig that. She oh my god, she delivered the jokes. You make friends, you live in a village, and then you decimate all the invaders with your giant mecha pigeon death machine. Oh, that's pretty good. And then there's one million possible weapon combinations and let's do set sounds cool. Wow. That sounds cool. I'd love to play it. Oh my God. Are we, there's no way there's going to be a mini game in here. Why a farming game? They've got a special place in my heart. I used to play these morning till night every day. I'm not really a go out and party kind of person. To be honest, I don't know enough people to go parties anyway, but whatever. Sometimes it's more fun just to do your own thing. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. Yay! Enough talk. Try playing it. I want to see how you feel about it. Oh, God. This is going to get weird. I feel like this is going to... Yeah. Well, it's all right. I, I No, honestly, it, it becomes harder to read text if you center it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, you're... You, oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Star Blue Valley. Okay, like Stardew Valley. Ha ha. I was a mecha pilot who got tired of life in the mecha corpse and decided to move out to the country to become a farmer. I was a pretty good one. I'd do farming shit. Dude, what the hell? 
dude, you gotta stop with that kind of thing. Why are you why are you shouting that in my stream, dude? Seriously. Tara would give me advice on farming. Her face is so close to mine. She watched every move with a pensive expression. No, seriously, that's over the top, man. But it's over the top. Seriously, that makes me mad. Okay, you could do all this stuff. All right, we got all that. Yeah, seriously, man. It's like a little bit too much, dude. I mean, we can... I, I make some dirty jokes and say some weird stuff, but I'm not sitting saying that. It's a little bit much. Any feedback would be great. Okay. Oh, God. The dating aspects didn't feel right. I knew you'd notice that. Kind of embarrassing. I've never actually dated before, so I have no idea what it's like. Oh, my God. To be honest, I've never really had a real friend either. Yeah, because all she ever does is game. <clears throat> okay, what is she saying? Maybe you and I could be friends. Oh, she whispered it. I'd be honored to be your friend. That said, please don't trap me in a video again. Yes, don't trap me in a video game again. All right, we can test, okay? Oh, my God. She'd implement it. We'd test it. Repeat. Oh, my God. I'm having to help her game develop. Which, by the way, can be very, very boring. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, nice night for a walk. So now we're going to meet Cat. Oh, hey, Grumble. What are you doing out here? Going for a walk. Sure, why? What are we on? We're on day, like, seven, I think, in a minute. How about we do a circle around the mansion grounds? Okay, she's going to tell me something weird. How'd your date with Tara go? Ah, are we back to our daily interviews? Did the island run out of wine? Oh my god. Yes. My date with Tara was... Eh. I'm gonna write eh. Sitting around troubleshooting her, uh, her beta, not even a beta, her raw code is not my idea of a fun time. Okay. Tara said in an interview that she thought you two really connected, but I guess it was not both ways. Well, it doesn't matter. The audience think you did, and that's enough to keep you breathing. All right? So we're still alive, but it's not time to celebrate just yet. I'm sticking to the plan. That's good to hear. If, if you got yourself killed by not following the plan at this point, you deserve it. All right. All right. So we're still alive. We didn't make the right choices. Now we, the next date is has to be Allie. And I think at that point, we're, what, six or seven days in? So we're, we're getting down to, like, the the end game here. All right. The scent of something delicious. The two of us. See, now I'm now I'm dreaming about um, um, Violet. Like, why is it we dream about different specific people? Okay, yeah. See, I, this is like, I keep having these dream sequences about, like, the different women. All right, so. Okay, I love you, Gurgrumble. I held her tight. I love you, too. For a moment, the whole world was just me and her, and that was all that mattered. What I wouldn't give to have you back like this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The music picked up. Okay, we all played Terra's game. It was multiplayer now. My God, she programmed fast, dude. She just she just like drilled out like you know, ten couple of tens of thousands of lines of code like overnight, and has a working multiplayer now. Bullshit. Oh my God. All right, mutant vegetables. Okay, this is all just blah blah blah. Oh my god. Okay, this is all just filler. Blah, blah, blah. They're having a fun game. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we spent the morning playing Terra's game. Boring. All right, how do you sleep? Pretty well, considering how you edit footage that keeps me alive. Drunk. Yeah. It sounds like a win-win if you ask me. Can you believe it? We're running the sixth, oh, sixth day of the show. So we've still got four days left, including this day. We are past the... Um, we're past the halfway mark. Let's wrap up phase two. You just need to go on a second date with your last soulmate candidate. All right. Break a leg. Oh, my God. All right. So can't we have to go with Allie. Oh, dude, shut up. Don't start dragging politics into it. Don't get me started on that idiot. Oh, my God. Allie. Allie. 
Okay, so we're on the... No, we're not in round... No, round two, we're finishing off. Then we're into round three. She's our last date of round two. I spent all night of dreaming these... Okay. Oh, uh, there's no wheels. Are we going to go fishing? Dude, if we go fishing, I'm going to freak out. Okay. Covered my eyes. Now let's just keep walking forward. My height, heart skipped a beat when she wrapped her arms around me. No. She's going to walk us up to the edge of a damn cliff. Mm -mm. Then sand, then water. Mm -mm. Oh, are you trying to kill me? Of course not. Though, I have to admit, this does look a lot like how they killed people back in the day. How the hell does she know this? Ah, uh, you're going to want to take a really high step forward next or it's going to hurt. I raised my... Something clanged like metal. Oh my god, is she going to stick us in a plane or some shit? I took a few steps forward. Brace yourself. Oh my god, are we water skiing? Oh, okay. Oh wow, see there she looks really cute and sporty. Oh my god, she stuck us on a boat. Oh, you stay within a few clicks of the island, we're good. Or the engine will automatically shut off. My god. This is really terrifying, the way we're trapped on this island. This is, like, insane. Why not have a little joy round around the island? What could go wrong? Uh, there's no fun in thinking that is there, so why bother? Oh, my God. Taking note of the different buildings. Hours flew by. She took a brief step. Are you okay, Allie? You don't seem as chipper as usual. I guess I'm a little homesick. It's nothing to do you promise. Oh, God. Why does it every single girl has this major issue? He's long gone. You know the old story about New Asia. I'm talking about Lucas. He was a good friend of my dad's. He's taking care of me and a whole lot of other kids. Sounds like a cool dude. Oh, my God. See, they have to work in like this like post-apocalyptic, like there was a World War III and everyone got boned. That's some really heavy shit. Then again, this is fine love or die trying. You sure have a way with words, don't you, Grumble? I don't dwell much on the past. It just slows you down. Yeah, I never think about those dozens and dozens of puppies I killed. No, I'm kidding. I couldn't agree more. Is that the amnesia talking? Who knows? She laughed. Aw, she puts her hand tenderly against my cheek. I'm feeling the love. I'm more worried that I'll get himself into trouble if I'm not around to keep him in check. What's he like? Uh... Let's just say a lot of how I act is from him, but I'm much more restrained. Oh, my God. Her adoptive father's a lunatic, apparently. Adrenaline junkie. Yeah. Oh, nothing at all. Uh. Oh, dude. No, she was being an absolute bitch. Oh my god, he's watching, he's always watching shitty reality TV shows. Yeah, I know. Well, this is definitely a shitty reality TV show. Just give me an idea, what's that? With one hand on the wheel, Allie turned to me and kissed me on the lips. Oh my god, I kissed her back. Are we going to do it on a boat? I love boat sex. I felt like lightning was running through my veins. Oh yeah, the boat started to rock back and forth. Yeah, yeah I did, but we didn't stop. That's got to give Lucas a heart attack. Seriously, what kind of fire lets her daughter go on a trashy show like this? I couldn't help but laugh. Oh, whatever. It's been a fun ride so far. Oh, hell yeah. Here's to the next one with you, Gur Grumble. She kissed me again, sending the boat into an erratic frenzy. We spent the day yesterday cruising around until we ran out of daylight. Oh, my God. G rating. I'm feeling a bit of late night munchies. I'll go downstairs. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to go through all this shit and I'm going to die at the end. And I'm going to be so pissed. Got a case of munchies? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How'd your date with Ellie today go? Eh. It was alright, I guess. Oh, really? That's too bad. Ellie said in an interview after your date that she thought you two really connected. See, that's the same thing we have the other one. The audience thinks you did. That'll keep you alive. Okay, good. Oh, my God. Phase two was good. All right. I've broken the records for for ratings on a killer dating game.
Oh my God, we don't have it. Pr we we don't have it printed it yet. But I pr I prepared your tombstone in advance if you're looking for a souvenir. God, she's dark. Ha ha ha! Thanks for the vote of confidence, babe. Let it never be said that I'm anything but supportive. I actually dig Cat, man. She is smoking hot, and, but she's batshit crazy, and she's drunk, and a murderess. Ooh. Third dates, but one caveat. What's the caveat? I'm sure you've got a favorite in mind. If you want to maximize your chances of getting out of your alive, save the best for last. It gives audiences something to look forward to. Sounds good to you? Makes sense to me. Good. Okay, I'm going to see Violet last. I'm going to see her dead last. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to see Violet last. We're going to go with, uh, we just saw Allie. So I'm going to go ahead and go with um, Tara. And then we'll go Allie and then we'll do Violet last. All right. What is the shut eye here? So what's this supposed to do? Oh, Scarlet. It's only a prototype. You can think of it as a memory rewriter. It rewrites memories. Surge. Oh my God. They actually gave us a picture this time. Like, they weren't giving us a picture the other times. I wonder if the game just wasn't giving us the picture, if there was supposed to be. But this time it actually says Scarlet. Anything's fair game. You could erase anything you wanted. Exactly. Maybe it's not really a scalpel since it comes with the reset button. It's sad, though. Okay. Oh, Scarlet. Oh, it doesn't mean I can't help you and your partner escape from this madness. Ooh, this is getting interesting now. So now it's like we, we keep having these dreams where we're like escaping with different people. And now it looks like she's actually, she's going to help us escape. You're taking a risk for us. I told you I was some 007 thing. We're going undercover. Don't mention it, Grumble. It's what I do. If they manage to trace it back to me, I'll accept whatever comes. Yes, we're trying to like break this open. This is some James Bond shit right here. The boat is just past the woods behind the rocky enclave near the beach. It won't be there forever, so act quickly. It'd be suicide to go for it during the day. Head there near midnight. Wait. You sure you don't want to come with us? Someone has to stay here to help the people that fall in the spider's web. Okay, so she supposedly... Oh, I envy her to get to leave this place with you. Someone needs to stay here. Wow. Did we unlock the right thing or something? What the hell? A beach scene? Seriously? What? Not only gratuitous, but oh so predictable. Oh, come on. It's the beach. Don't be so negative. What, are they all going to be in bikinis or something in a minute? It's not every day you get to go to the beach. Are you all right, Terry? You have looked better. Terry was practically crawling on the beach sand like a zombie with one arm. Sunlight. <laughs> my worst enemy. We meet again, you piece of shit. Oh my god, she hates the sun. There's some shade under the beach umbrellas over there, Tara. I'm actually, I've enjoyed this. Not quite the same run as Colonel Sanders, but this is fun. You look like you could use it. Ugh. I swear I'd never seen Tara move so fast. Let's go in the water. Come on. All right, come on. Bikini shots. Yeah. Buy about and pulled her towards the water. Ah, but I didn't bring anything to change. Uh-oh. Skinny dip. Now that's the spirit. Wait up, you guys. Oh, my God. Everyone's skinny dipping. I'm in, I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven and hell and heaven and hell. And just like that, they're off. You up to join them? Hell yes, I am. I'd be crazy to miss out on this. Just one thing first. Let me get all my kit off. Oh my God. She's, man, she is over the moon for me, dude. Woo, this is going to make some good footage. It's hotter when the other girls are around. You think they saw? Oh my God, she's an exhibitionist. She's completely mad. Oh my God. Now I'm kind of attracted to her, but yeah. Oh my God. I couldn't stop my jaw from dropping. She's like, yeah, do you think the other girls saw? Fuck yeah. Female Alpha Chan. The look on your face is priceless. My God. Try to keep up. She ran to join the other girls. Hell yeah. I followed suit. Yeah. In my birthday suit. We spent the rest of the morning skinny dipping. So there we go. Morning, or Grumble. Let's kick off phase three. Hopefully we can wrap this up quickly and you'll be back to your old life. I better be. It's a gilded cage. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. 
Unless you make a mess. All right. Which one of them will be going on a third date with? We're not. We're saving Violet for dead last. We want to go with uh, Tara, and then we'll go with Allie because she's exciting, and you know it's always adventure, and that's what the ratings. And then we'll go with Violet. One thing I'm going to be pissed off though if we spent four hours on this and then all of a sudden they do like oh no but I we we at this point we've dated all of the all of the women so it's either going to be we're dead or we're not in another three days. If I'd known you were going to spend all your dates with Terra indoors, I would have just booked the mansion. Ha ha ha. Sometimes the best things in life aren't the most expensive. Who knew? Just kidding. You ever seen a depressed person who owns an island? Go get her, tiger. Okay, so now we're going to date Tara, who always is like, last time she made us do code. Raw code. Ugh. I found Tara sleeping on the sofa in the game's room. She looks so peaceful. Maybe I'll come back later. Zombies everywhere. Ah. Okay, let's ask if you're okay. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, they all got turned into zombies. Earlier, all of the women except for uh, Scarlet got turned into monkey zombies. And Scarlet had to reverse it. <clears throat> Did you go to bed late? Hell yeah. I spent all night working on the game. Yeah, she punched out like a million lines of code in like two days. And she has a working beta multiplayer. Bullshit. And I finished it too. Oh my god, she finished the beta. She's now got a fully release, a release ready version in like three days of punching out code. And it's an MMO. Bullshit. I love this. I added some new features. Yeah, for the uh, one where we're, it's a game where we're a farmer, but we're also like, we have a mech. And we basically destroy, we're like a trog or we're burninating the countryside. What the hell? I started up the game. Oh, that's right. It's like a VR. Yeah, you've made it just in time. If she turns into a pigeon, I'm going to be so pissed. Giant robotic pit pigeons flew from the sky and started to attack our avatars. What the fuck? I'm going to fight the pigeons. Let's get in the mech. Come on, we have a mech. This is so dumb. <laughs> she pulled out a giant can of pigeon repellent. Oh, yeah, I know. When you punch out like a million lines of code in two or three days, no wonder it's not going to work. This is like a broken beta. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay, so I got the death grip of the road robo pigeon. The maple syrup dragon. This is so dumb. We better not get axed. This better carry on. And forcefully stuck their wings together. They fell at breakneck speed. Save me. I hadn't saved yet. She didn't add the ability to save the game. How stupid is this? <laughs> She's a professional gamer and she's like a vlogger and a, and, a, and a streamer and she doesn't she doesn't put in a save option on the game. This is so retarded. If she could just for a minute. My avatar died. Okay, she has a respawn mechanic. Yeah, hit retry. Oh my god. The village is 10 times bigger. Oh my god. So now we're a pigeon again. This she is batshit crazy. I mean she's batshit crazy, dude. I'm sitting there beta testing this girl's game where she she basically kills me. Oh, this one last thing I want to test out. Yeah. No. I followed her avatar to the cabin. We should Oh my god, are we gonna have v VR sex? It's a dildo. Oh my god. A r item, an item called Ring of You're Pretty Cool. Now, keep in mind, look at this, what this ring looks like. This is an engagement ring, people. Okay? This is not a ring of You're Pretty Cool. This is a... Remember, at the very beginning, she said she was going to win no matter what. She is absolutely hell-bent on winning the so-called game. Let me try to explain. I came onto this show with no idea what it's about. I thought it was stupid, but hanging out with you has been fun. Yeah, all we've done is work on her and have her and, and basically in like in her beta games, we've been her bitch and we helped her punch out a bunch of code. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. Honestly, I've never had someone to share all my crazy shit with, but you, you're different. So I guess what I'm trying to say is you're pretty cool. Aww. All right, I'm gonna say I'd love to. Let's let's go ahead and we'll we'll uh we'll uh, dangle the carrot a little bit more. The grumble carrot. Why is that? You giving this ring to me, it could be a little misleading. 
You're not making any sense, teehee. And remember, she gave me a VR ring, so it's not like I'm showing it. Oh, that's enough gaming for today. Yeah, I'm almost... Oh, my God. Now she wants a movie date. And... What do you want to watch? Something with mechs and pigeons. It's a Hitchcock film. Oh, my God. It's going to be The Birds. Yeah, of course. I saw it coming. I felt a blood vessel in my head pop. <laughs> this woman is bad for my heart. Dude, yes. We're going to have a full-on aneurysm if we date this chick. She's crazy. Oh, yeah. she. Oh, we're going to be smiling when we have our first stroke. Yeah, ha ha. Last date with Tara. We've only got two dates to go, and then we find out whether or not we die. You tend to come out here when you're lost in thought. You're thinking about the show's almost over. Lucky guess. Well, it's not over, so don't let up yet. Speaking of which, how was your date with Tara? It was all right. I'm not going to be like, awesome. Dude, she screwed with us in her damn game. I guess three dates wasn't enough to see if someone's marriage material. Who knew? Anyway, I'd ask you if you're thinking of choosing her at the end, but I read and see how it plays out. You're going to stay out here for long? No, I'll probably be going back inside soon. I'll keep you company till then. I figure you might want to have a conversation with someone that won't get you killed if it's not TV worthy. What? I'm curious, cat. What's up? When are we getting naked? There's no way of getting me out here alive. But the only way for me to survive is just to run. Would you let me escape? Ooh, this took a dark turn. This went south quick. Of course, Girl Grumble. Thanks, cat. That means a lot. I don't buy this. Remember, cat's the one who knocked us out and like was electrocuting us and zapping our brain and shit in the last one. No, she absolutely will not let us run. No, oh my god, I'm lucky I can have someone I can trust on my side. Well, we know from previously, like technically in the game, we don't remember that. But yeah, she zapped us, dude. One second. There we go. I woke up on the floor of the games room. Tara was sleeping on the sofa with one hand on the console. Aw, it was our own little sleepover. Isn't that sweet? Pigeon zombies everywhere. Ah, and then she was up. Let's hope this insane show never gets to the point where Tara's dreams make sense. Okay, she's okay. She's dead tired. Oh, yeah. Date with somebody else now? Yeah, that's just how it is. Yep. Have fun. Aw. Save some time for gaming with me later. Isn't that sweet? She's so over the moon for us. She gave us the engagement ring. Oh, sorry. I meant the uh, you're a great friend ring. All right, two more dating days. We only have two people, and then we have to know if we're going to die. Okay, the, it was pretty... Oh, not the highest rated, but enough to give us more room to keep us going. Sounds good enough to me. For your next date, make sure you pick someone who you think the audience will respond well to. I think they really like Allie. Shit. Will it be Violet or Allie? I think you're in a pretty good spot either way. Without further ado, which soulmate can is it going to be... Allie's always like an adventure. Well, yeah, but we don't want to drop it with Violet at the last minute. Yeah, let's go with Allie. We need a strong We need a strong run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if your dates with Allie are really dates or more of just trying different kinds of transportation. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. No shit. First it was rollerblading, then it was sailing. What's it going to be now? Skydiving without a parachute? Just because life's for the living, right? Or more accurately, she came running to me. You are not going to believe this, girl Grumble. What's that? All right. Who took my keys? What the fuck? You got 10 seconds before I take out a force. Oh my God, she stole her car. We'll walk and talk. Come on. Okay, let's walk and we'll run like hell. Four is not going to be happy when finds out. Whatever, come on. Okay, so she, she took Kat's keys. What's going on? You are not going to believe what I just found. What, a motorcycle? Oh my God, she... It's better if I said it's gonna be a motorcycle or a car. Oh my god. She was singing as she covered my eyes with one hand and pulled me with the other step by step. In the middle of a forest. What? Whoa, what, what? Oh my god, we got onto the yacht. We're on the yacht. What the hell? Well, I do like she's enterprising. Oh, no, this is... No, no, it's not the yacht. This is the plane. Sorry, sorry. It's the plane. Sorry. 
Yeah, the very same plane where Cat slapped us in the face. How did you even? It was just sitting in the forest, so I thought, why not, right? What the fuck? Wait a minute, are you planning on... Remember, though, like in the boat? Here's the problem. If the boat got too far away from the island, it was going to, like, its power would shut down. Arguably, the plane would be the same thing. So if we go up flying right now, they might, like, shut the engine off and kill us. Oh, my God. Yeah, I ran for the door. It was already shut tight. And away we go. Oh, my God. She's a lunatic. No, she's batshit crazy. You were thinking the same thing. You put a big juicy red button there completely intended and you expect a good citizen not to press it. Oh my God, she's nuts. Oh, wait a minute. If you're talking to me here, who's flying the plane? Technically nobody. Oh my God, she's insane. Dude. Oh, they, okay. The right wing of the plane smashes into a tree, but it doesn't tear it off. It's just slightly deformed horse shit. Oh my God, that music is so annoying. Exactly like kidneys. Forget killer dating death shows. Forget Damien Cat. Ali was going to be the death of me. I tried to run. Could stay upright. Pain teeter. Da, da, da. I've got this. She ran to the cockpit without breaking a sweat. Oh my God. What? Oops. Oh, oh, bullshit. The right wing of the plane smashed into a tree and now it's bent back into its original shape. That is the biggest crock of shit I've heard in this game so far. Not so bad. Oh my god. You're not bending the wing back into shape by slapping it against a tree. What the hell is that nonsense? Oh, oh my god. Wait, it, it, wait. Okay, is she, is she going to try to get us off the island or is she just literally taking a joyride and <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, not dying in a fiery plane crash? What's the... Oh. Freedom or flying? There's another reason I flew us up here. This is the only place I could find on the island that wasn't bugged. No one can eavesdrop on us. Oh my god. Oh. Sorry for the turbulence, but without it, they might have heard me disable the bugs in here. Dude, it's because there's an indication that we might have a partner on the island. Is it her? What the hell? Believe me, I looked for a safe place as hard as I could. That's why I got the rollerblades for the, and the boat earlier. To find a safe place to talk. I'm guessing you know what the show is really about then. Ooh. Unfortunately, yeah. What a bummer. I don't think you do. And I can't risk telling you everything. What? You're better off not knowing? Oh, I hate when they do that kind of shit. You're better off not knowing. What are you hiding? Who are you really? See, there, there is some serious James Bond shit going on here. Okay. What? Okay, we had already started descending. Okay, tell me. Tell me something. Okay, she's on my side. Dude, she was like the least desirable girl out of all of them. Okay, but then again, that's why, you know, she's doing all this crazy shit because... Okay, it's a good thing you're so cute. Oh, my God. I'm kidding. Jeez. Do you trust me? Okay, I guess I'm going to say yes. Because Scarlet already appeared and said, like, yeah, you can escape from the island or something. What the hell? This got dark and deep, man. I swear if I die at the end of this, I'm going to be so pissed off. So what can you tell me? There's no time. Long story short, there's something on this island I need to find that the people I work with need. It's life or death, not just for you or me, but countless others. I came here to save you all, and I won't give up until I have. But at this point, I've done all I can. It's in his hands now. Gods. No time to talk. We're almost back in range of the islands recording. No matter, don't tell anybody what happened here. Oh, no, no. oh my god. Okay. So she's supposedly our ally in whatever. But see, Kat also told us she would let us escape if we tried, and we know she won't do that. Mm -mm. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Wow. Well, we should get great ratings. Kat, Kat and Ali seemed to exchange. They needed... Oh, man, I wish they would have let me edit their text. I could have given them better editing. More than a few uneasy glances as we got off the plane. Mm -mm. Luckily, nothing came of it. Oh. Something special for the two of us. I wasn't allowed to see her till the evening. Apparently, that's the nicest time to film. Oh, are they going to take her out of the sporty clothes and make her a little Cinderella? <clears throat> oh. Ooh. Now, listen, last time we ended up in this restaurant... They drugged us and wiped our brain. 
and they cuffed us and strapped us to a table. Oh my God. Okay. Two gestured me to follow him. I couldn't help but crack up. Oh yeah, I thought she, yeah, given all the shit the crew put me through. What's the point? It just get ruined. How would it get ruined? Oh, you'll see. Come on. What? Oh my God, something is going so wrong here. She pulled me with her towards the door. What are we trying to escape? <clears throat> Promptly shattered. In case you were watching Cat, that was two. Oh my God, are we escaping? She pulled me along with her to the outside, the night air. Each breath where her air is ran along the road, made her. Oh my God, are we trying to escape? We ran to the beach. Come on. She tightened her hand and pulled me along with her to the water. Oh, are we skinny dipping again? Oh my god, she laughed like a maniac as she cannonballed us into the ocean. Yeah, no romance. Like, not like a nice sensual midnight dip. Instead, it's a bloody cannonball. Yes. She put her hands against my face, looked deep into my eyes. She smiled. Oh, kissed. Oh. We went back up to the surface. I figure you could use a fun distraction from everything that happened earlier. Was she doing this for me? Yeah, I never know what to expect with her, and you never will. Yeah, because she's a wackadoo. It was a night to remember. All right, there was the, the PG, there were the G version of uh, we just got laid in the water. All right, I waited around outside till the time I'd expect to see Cap, but she never showed up. I guess she already has enough footage for us today. Might as well try to find her. No one's here. The snacks from before are gone. Dude, did everyone clear out? Holy shit. Cat was at the table writing something down. With one hand. Hey, Cat, what's up? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. How are you doing? That depends on what you're ominously writing. You look just like someone who realized I was dead meat. Oh, this? Don't worry about it. Somebody's dead meat, but it's not you. Yay. I'm just kidding. I'm just fixing up some of the balance sheets. No, I think they're going to kill Allie. Oh, I'd be pissed off. Oh. Okay. How today's date? I want to say awesome. It was awesome. I don't know how, but the more time I spend with Allie, the better it gets. Being married to her would make every day an adventure. And I like the sound of that. Here's the only problem. After you've been married to someone like that for 5, 10, 15 years, you're going to get real sick and tired of the adventures. I'm telling you guys, don't go for the crazy girls. They will, you will, you will want to shoot yourself in the face after a while. I'm sure it'd be an adventure, but the jury's on if it's one you'd walk away from. But I can see she makes you happy. That counts for a lot. But you might want to start wearing body armor. Anyway, you've done great till now. I don't know if what you said to each of the girls really is true, but don't stop now. You just have to get through one more day and you'll be able to finally leave this place. Ah. Oh, she's so lying to us. And then you'll tell me what my real, my original life is about. Of course. She's so lying. Yeah. Fair point. Yeah. Where, if I didn't, where would you go? Looks like you got something on your mind. Ah. Yeah. <clears throat> The rating requirements for the last date and the last day are the highest. Oh, shit. We might have wanted to save Allie for that. Oh, this doesn't feel good. Nothing's... Yeah, because Violet's more chill. We probably should have had... Oh, Allie would have been like big adventure and so on. <clears throat> are you going to move on to the next killer dating show? I didn't know you were my career coach. Ooh, you want to know my five-year plan too? Yeah, there's no plan. God, she's... Oh, this is a very sad woman. That's really all anyone can do in this crazy world. This is a sad-ass woman. I gotta get back to work. Good luck, Grumble. You'll need it. Man, I hope... See, we had that really fun food fight with Violet, and the ratings went through the roof, right? But if it's, like, totally chill and cool, like it was with Scarlet, they're gonna ax us. Oh, shit. I'll need all the rest I can get. Let's see what the dream sequence says now. This is going to be the key. Like, what is the dream sequence going to tell us? Because it's like we're remembering more and more stuff. And it seems like we had multiple escapes with multiple people and we always get caught. Which is really disturbing. That's the indication from the dates, man. This has actually got me hooked now. 
performance is coming to a close. The actors and actresses came out one by one, ready to take their bows. I would clap, but I'm waiting for you and only you. What the hell? Oh, this isn't the worst place I thought I could wake up yesterday. I'll take that as a compliment. Holy sh Okay, so we're actually sleeping with them overnight. She laughed and pinched my cheek. Well, it's been a blasker, Grumble. I've I have some more cruising around to do, and I think you've got another date on your plate today. Dude, so we just like totally just got laid. Okay. Sorry. Okay. She was gone before I even had a chance to finish. That woman is a force of nature. I hate how they're trying to make us go towards Allie. I absolutely could have dug Yui. Uh-oh, you're running out of time, Kit Kat. Thanks, Twix. It's gonna be fine, just watch. Good morning, Kat. Morning, Gur Grumble. How'd you sleep? Pretty well, thanks. Yeah, we had a, we had, we we had a, two alleys. Yeah, I bet you did. The bed was worth more than your life. Ah, that reminds me. Why can't the staff have the same kind of bed that Grumble has? Do I look like I'm made of money? <clears throat> you literally own this island. Uh, the next thing he asked for is minimum wage. Oh my God, he's such an asshole. Yeah. What is the what, running gag with the brothers becoming accountants? All right, let's see. Oh, my God. Oh my, okay, before this ends, let me go grab another drink real quick. Hold on a minute. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. All right, I went and got me. I went and got me a ginger ale. We got to go to like low caffeine because otherwise we're gonna be up forever. So we'll switch off the RC. All right, let's go. Without further ado, lights, camera, death. All right, come on, man. I'm gonna freak out if this is bad. I found Violet in the same place I met her. She was taking out a fresh batch of cookies. Aw. Morning, Violet. Oh, I slid next to her and grabbed one of the cookies in one smooth motion. Yeah. I love grabbing those cookies, baby. Ooh, you notice they got the smoky, sexy saxophone there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I flung the cookie into my mouth anyway. Worth the pain. Damn it, that was delicious. Wait a moment, you silly goose. You never fail to make me laugh, Grumble. I quite admire that. Well, I, you're you're welcome, Your Highness. I did a mocking bow. Oh my God, I actually was mocking. Pleasure's all mine, my lady. Okay, I did actually mock her. Stop you! I wolfed down another cookie. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Do you know these are for sharing with everyone, right? Fuck no. I'm part of everyone. What's the problem here, huh? Huh? We laughed together at the bit we were performing. Ah, uh, that reminds me, Ger Grumble. Will you be dead tomorrow? I don't know. Are we going to get naked? What's up, Violet? It's come to my attention that this show will be ending quite soon. Yeah, it is. She says, oh, are you going to pick me? I'm going to say yes. I don't intend to feel sorry for myself. Instead, I want to use the time we have left here to do something I've always longed to do. She's gonna. She wants to put into practice the thing she's read in the books. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm like, ooh. And what's that? What I want is to go on a date. The kind that normal people go on. Yeah. Let's see how good that book learning is. The kind I've only read about. Having a picnic, watching a movie at the theater, long walks on the beach. Even something crazy like a paint night. Yeah, you know what kind of paint? Body paint. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. And then we can watch the sunset go down together. And then we can go down together. Oh, I mean, it'd be so romantic. Yeah. Her enthusiasm was adorable. She was practically bouncing around the room like a ping pong ball. Yeah, I'm bouncing pretty much too right now. I think we can make that happen. Oh, fuck yeah, we can. Can we now? Which one? All of it. Why not all? Oh, shit. Yeah, I actually said all. Why not all of them? Fuck yeah. Everything. Yes. Now get your kid off. She's got the most beautiful smile. Damn. 
Really? You've got to be kidding me. Fuck no. You can count on me, Violet. I'll make it happen, Captain. You damn right. Yay. She did a little cheer and dance. All right. Now for the pole dance. Gosh, I can't get smiling looking at her. That said, I have no idea what to do. Guess this will be touch and go. No, not touch and go. It'll be touch and stay. <laughs> okay, here we go. I mean, come on. This is my last night to howl before they potentially kill me. I might as well go nuts. It wouldn't be fair if you figured out everything. Let me handle the picnic. She pulled out a basket from behind her. Care to join me in the lovely outdoors? Sure, just point me to the roofies and the martinis. I wouldn't miss it for the world, Violet. Oh my god, she's got this beautiful bento box. Look at that. That, my friends, is called the bento box. Ooh, look at that. It's like, what are those, salmon rolls? Oh, man. Ooh, that is some good looking. Ooh, that's a good looking bento, man. Where's the rice? The way her silver caught the sunlight, it was enough to make you believe in angels. Dude. Oh, this is a beautiful gal. She was so beautiful. Hell yes. Oh, my God. Dig in. I brought plenty. Please don't hold yourself back. That's right. Hey, guys. You know, there is some grade five Wagyu beef here. It's holding that silver fork. <laughs> okay, here we go. I've got to be the luckiest person alive. Save that talk for after you try this. I'm letting you have the first. If this is, yeah, should I be worried? If this is drugged and I wake up on a table where they're going to race my mind, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. I smiled as she mock pouted. Just kidding. She laughed and smiled as she spoon fed me a delicious egg roll. That is not an egg roll right there. Okay. Called it. I'm the luckiest person alive. Not just because the food's delicious, but because you're next to me, Violet. Oh, I feel the same way. And there's more where that came from. Oh, I'm so touched. Uh-oh, I've got something prepared for just the two of us next. Mmm. You owe me one, Gur Grumble. Oh, cat. Holy shit. We enjoyed the delicious food and conversation of the rest of the afternoon. What the hell? Why did cat come in and say you owe me one? We walk back to the mansion. Next stop, the only movie theater on the island. Whoa, so Cat like helped us out so we don't get like murdered. I didn't know we had a room like this in the mansion. Holy cow. I'm not surprised. Tara's pretty territorial about this room from what I've seen and heard. But right now it's our very own private movie theater. Remember, everyone else had disappeared on us. Yesterday when we were looking for people, all we found was a uh, cat. I wonder what they did with the other girls. I'm kind of worried now. Like, where is Tara? Why wouldn't she be in here like, oh, I did a little jazz hands at the TV. Who in the hell? Do I just lost. I lost any respect she has for me by doing fucking jazz hands at the TV. If anyone doesn't know what jazz hands are, look it up. It's retarded. Violet clapped as if I just put on a performance of a lifetime. Oh, my God. Thankfully, she's stupid. I made a dramatic bow, then took a look at what movies we had in store. Let's see. Alien. The Terminator. Hmm. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's see. We have rom-coms, fantasy medieval movies, war movies, superhero movies, and last but not least, a horror movie. Oh, shit. We have to pick the right thing. Oh, my God. A rom-com. Yeah. Oh. A girl who moved to a place called New York to become a writer falls in love. Writer because falls in love with the boy she meets there and eventually realizes her dream and her... Ew! Yeah, damn sure wasn't anything special. But she was entranced. I was more entranced by her. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, We touched her soft spot. This is the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life. My whole life. Oh my god, she likes a shitty rom-com. That's the best movie she's ever seen. God, she's sheltered. She needs to get out more. Then how about we take a scene you like from the movie... And turn it into a painting. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, you didn't. Just wait right here for a second. Okay. I had no idea where to find art supplies, but I knew if there's anyone who could, it was Cat. Cat, I think you know the sitch. You got some nerve putting this together at the last minute. Oh my god, she's helping us. A paint night. Oh. 
I think I'll paint a picture of my manhood. All right, there we go. Oh, should we pick a scene from the movie or should we do Violet and I watching a movie together? I think her and I watching a movie together is romantic. Like, I prefer that. But then again, she really liked to see a scene from the movie. I'm going to pick her, her and I watching a movie together. That shows that we're really into her. This counts, right? What are you painting here, Grumble? Nothing. Now let me see your nipples so I can get it completely accurate. I'm painting a picture of us watching the movie together. It's the most beautiful scene from the movie, you know? It'd be a shame not to capture it. Oh, You are quite the flirt. Oh my god, she's hitting me with this? Oh my god. I like that about you. Yeah, I know, I'm a complete man whore. Her smile could melt the coldest heart. So which scene are you painting, Violet? I'm drawing the scene where the girl runs out in the rain to tell the boy that she loves her. Andy Dufresne, who crawled through a river of shit and came out clean on the other side. Oh, hell yeah, that was such a romantic moment. She sighed like a love-struck teenager. That's what she is. I don't care if she's 36. I mean, her, her, her emotional age is like 15. No, 12. Oh, my God. Her whole heart into her painting. She kept... See... Girls who grow up and they watch and they play a game like this, they expect dudes to be like this. And most dudes are not like this. In fact, a lot of girls aren't like this either. But they, they, they think this is reality. Oh my God. As for me, let's just say I was more focused on making the people have the right number of heads and was working from there. Oh my God. An hour or so later, we finished and compared our final artworks. Ooh, she's talented. Me, not so much. Ooh. Uh-oh, her stomach's gurbling, gurgling. Oh my God, mother would punish me for sure if she heard me make that sound. What, the sound that you're hungry? Dude, what kind of mother does she have? Oh my God, her mother's a bitch. Just think about it. If you had a child and your child was hungry and their stomach grumbled and basically all you just bitch slapped them, you're like, shut that damn noise up. I mean, seriously. Her mother's evil. She's like a like a wicked witch. Oh, Violet, we love you. She was unstoppable at this point. Is it time for dinner? I do believe it is. Oh. Uh-oh, we're back to this restaurant. Uh-oh, uh-oh. She was trying too hard to be a prim and proper back then. She didn't actually get to eat as much as she wanted. Okay. She ate up a storm. Almost literally, almost. Okay. Well, I guess we'll love her when she's fat, too. So there we go. We spent the dinner wolfing down delicious food without a care in the world. Yeah, there there we go. We sucked down 10,000 calories a pop. And uh, then we basically waddled on over to the bed. And then we were too tired to do anything. And laughing about our scenes in the movie and our little artsy adventure. Then finally, we went for a long-awaited walk on the beach. Fuck yeah. We held hands as we walked along the ocean. The waves of the ocean seemed to play music for us as we skirted by. Aww. At times, we talked without end. But see, if it says at times, that means there were ends. See, that's a bit of empty poetry right there. At other times, we enjoyed each other's company and warmth and silence. Well, you either talked without end or you enjoyed silence. What the fuck? See, that's bad writing. Either way, we were as happy as can be. Yes, because up is down, the sun is the moon, and I don't know, s s snow is fire, whatever. Ah, so we got we started talking about, like, Buddhist philosophy. Yes. You know, Grumble, if you asked me to marry you right now, without a doubt, I'd accept. Fuck yeah, let's do it. She's rich. I know it sounds quite crazy, but I just know... She kissed me passionately with everything she had. Fuck yeah. That's that book learning, baby. We fell together onto the soft sand of the beach. Uh-oh, here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Warning. Warning. We're going off PG now. All the kitties got to go to bed now. We're getting into R. Ooh, maybe we can make it NC-17. Wow. Well, you... Oh, my God. I asked her to marry me. What the fuck? Did I win? I saw the most beautiful smile from his... Oh, my God. What happened to Allie? I know the final ceremony is tomorrow, but I want you to know how I feel. Oh, this sounds like we're going to win. We should get ratings out the ass on this. Remember, we have to get ratings or we die. I felt like my heart was trapped in my throat. No, it's trapped somewhere else. You know what I'm saying. All right. 
Of course, I know what I said, Grumble. Then I saw something I'd never seen before and would never see again. What? The sky outside rapidly turned from bright blue to black as if we're being water being drowned. Into oh my god, are we in a VR? Are we totally screwed? Then the bright sun in the sky went out like a... Oh, fuck. Are we hooked into a VR? Bullshit. Please collect the cast. The experiment is complete. The last thing I saw was Violet screaming as shadowy figures grabbed her from behind. They better not. I swear to God, if I die, I'm going to be so pissed. A second later, and I couldn't even see my hands reaching for Violet's, desperately trying to pull her back to me. Then I felt somebody grab me from behind. No, if they start me into another sequence, I'm going to scream. There must have been several people. They forced me to the ground and cuffed me behind my back. Damn it, this is how the first one ended. I screamed, but there was no sound. Oh my god. I couldn't hear anything, not even the sound of the waves. I tried to fight, but there was no way out. I screamed for Violet for her to run as far as she could, but I heard no response. What the fuck? Then nothing. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, let's see what happens. If Oh my god. If it takes us to another sequence, I'm going to save and we're going to do something else. I woke up on the operating table. The kind you see in a nightmare. It's exactly... Oh, you, are you fucking kidding? You know what I think they're going to do, though? I think they're going to go ahead... I think they're going to make us now do another sequence where we have to date all five of them. I think they're going to rest they're going to reset us again and it's going to be all five. But see we've been picking up clues and stuff, right? Like we know that the um Scarlet is trying to like help us somehow, like get us off, off the island. We know that we're trying to run away with somebody and I think it's Yui. And we know that Ali is supposedly like a secret agent or some shit that's supposed to be helping us. So we don't know about the gamer girl or Violet for sure. But yeah, I think I think Yui is who we actually want to escape with. I think Scarlet's trying to help us and Allie's trying to help us. So maybe we need to work through that. And yes, we will continue this tomorrow if it makes us do that. Because we've already been running like we've been running like four fucking hours on this. You like Violet best, really? Yeah, she, if she softens up and yeah, I I I Honestly, I kind of am Jones in for Violet now. I'm kind of, yeah. I love Yui, but Yui does seem kind of weird, you know? Like, she seems like she's a little bit too into us. You know, like a girl who says, like, I'll never, ever let you go, and all we can ever do is have conversations, and, and we can talk all morning and all night. It's like, she's she she might getting like like she might get, like, really clingy to the point where she suffocates us. Um... And of course, Allie's just on a mission, but she's kind of nuts anyway. And the gamer girl, she's going to be too busy playing games, you know? And uh, and Scarlet's kind of mental too, like mad scientist style. So yeah, Violet, I'm actually kind of leaning towards. Who says she can't be pretty nice and rich, right? I want the trifecta. Grumble wants it all. Okay, my first instinct was to get up. Maybe we can escape though. Let's see. But the braces didn't budge. Morning, Grumble. What's going on, cat? Get me out of here. I'm afraid I can't do that. See, bitch lied to us. We flat out asked her if we wanted to escape. Would would she she help us? And she said, of course I would. Lies. 